how's day after uh, something like like that? Is it something you just try to wipe out the memory really quickly? Uh, it stinks. It definitely stinks. Um, it's a game we, we should have won, obviously, at home. Uh, how their season has gone. You know, they had a lot of young guys that played hard and fought, and they shot the piss out of it in our own building. But, uh, again, a situation where we had a lot of controllables that we could have played better and definitely those things a little bit today. Have Is you it? ever been tossed from a game before? That was my first. That how many first. techs do you have? My career, I'm not sure, honestly. I think on the year, I might have one or two outside of last night. So I'm not sure. First one. First tech. Oh, this first tech of the year? Okay. Surprised how quick it came, <laughs> the first and second? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Mike said post game it was, he was kind of frustrated and a lot of the defensive issues are the same things that you guys have talked about before. What are some of those things and what do you think you need to do better going forward? Stuff we work on every day, stuff we do in drills, and stuff we watch a lot on film, obviously. Uh, really kind of all over the place. So we just got to be a little bit more consistent with how we're doing things. and. Uh, just be better moving forward. He's talking about the discipline of like who's labeled hot and not in those closeouts. Um, obviously, it's easy for us to look and think you know that somebody should close out on. How difficult is that to recognize and act upon like mid game? Uh, I mean, it's you know it, it goes further than that. It's you know even you know knowing personnel, uh, knowing our rotations, knowing what coverages we're in, and uh, you know our rules that we have within our defense. It kind of is across the board and. Uh, again, just being more consistent with, with each of those areas. You had, uh, you know, when you were in Detroit, obviously they jumped you guys pretty good. You were able to kind of rally from that. Were there any similarities in the way they were able to contend against you guys last night versus that game? Went a little bit different. You know, we got up early, they made a run, and then uh, third quarter we were, you know, felt like after Domas's three in the quarter, felt like we were going to figure it out and ride a little bit of that momentum, and, and we've been good in the fourth quarter. And, uh, it's not how it worked out. And, uh, like I said, we're, we're all definitely frustrated how, how it worked out. You have, a good, you have a game like last night, and then obviously the trading deadline, it can be kind of a distraction for some people. How do you feel like that came and went with your crew coming back on practice and just kind of getting? Uh, you know, we put practice till after the deadline. So once we sat down and watched film today, everyone who was sitting down was on the team. And we had everybody in the building we had yesterday. So. Uh, not much has changed for us. You know, I, didn't, I didn't feel any different yesterday playing last night. And I don't think anybody else really did. And uh, Today we came in, got our work in, and you know, we'll go play Denver tomorrow. Is it a big stress relief getting past this the trade deadline day? Not really. At least not, not for me. I don't know if other guys are feeling it. Uh, I think it's always, to be honest, it's an exciting time for the NBA. You wake up this morning and we're on the West Coast and there's already a handful of moves made. And, Become a little bit like a like a 2K game and get every team just making trades and so uh, I've never been traded on, on deadline days so maybe I have a different feeling towards it but for me it's kind of it's you know the, the league takes over the internet and everybody's dialed in seeing what every team is going to do and uh, the rest of the year obviously teams look different it's the home stretch and see how everything else plays out. Kevin, uh, back to the game last night uh, the Kings were out rebounded 42 to 33. Uh, you guys usually you know. One of the top rebounding uh, teams in the league. What, what went on with that last year? I mean, last night where you guys couldn't clear the boards. Yeah, uh, I think with everything else, the focus and effort thing, you know, just across the board wasn't consistent enough. I think parts in the game we showed it and we were locked in, and then other parts we weren't. That was uh, against a young team like that. You know, guys aren't used to playing the big minutes they're used to playing, and you know, they're going to play super hard. And uh, yeah, there's certain we, we can definitely finish possessions better. What's I guess maybe the biggest motivating, or the biggest positive to come out is, is a big motivating factor when you drop a game like that. You've got obviously the Nuggets right around the corner, and just I guess the the mindset of moving on. Yeah, I, the thing is just something you take each game game by game. You know, we've 82 of these things. Uh, it's a game we would obviously like to have, but you know, the next game just just as important as the last. And, we have some really good opportunities to play against teams that are ahead of us in the standings or right with us in the standings to you know, control our own destiny over the next four games going into All-Star break and, and even you know, the, the five or five to ten coming out of it. So uh, we're still in a fine spot. You know, we can control. We can control. I think our team, we know that when we're at our best, we can play with anybody. And I uh, just got to continue to go and prove it.